now you guys another option for those who are looking to come into the uk with their dependents still and you know maybe you've gotten your january admission maybe you've even paid deposit or something and now they're saying you cannot bring in your dependents there's another option for you and students from this august they are not going to be able to you know switch their visas now you came in with a dependent this is where your dependent should come in because as soon as your spouse which is a student is done they <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel you guys it's your girl chief dominica and you guys i'm back with another immigration uk immigration video uk immigration update so if this is the kind of content that you're interested in make sure you like share and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you guys today i'm going to be talking about students and their dependents okay we have good news we have bad news so stay tuned and stay to the end of this video you guys so first of all first of all the uk immigration they've said that from january next year from 1st of january 2024 students who are coming into the uk cannot bring their dependents anymore except except those that are coming in for research based programs okay if you're coming in for you know the masters the top program masters and all of that you cannot bring in your dependents from january of 2024 now hi guys so i'm currently editing this video and i just felt the need to you know shed more light on the research based masters degrees program i know a lot of persons would opt for you know the thought based but if you're going to do the uh, research base like i mentioned you can still bring your dependents and i just checked online now and there are over 600 you guys from different universities all you have to do is browse these things and you'd see them there are over 600 research based master's degree program and as you can see as you can see a lot of them are not even as expensive as the thought based program but at the end of the day it's all up to you it's all up to your discipline what you want to do but i just felt the need to emphasize this i think people should you know look into this more and you know see it as an option as well so but if you're not interested in this keep watching the rest of the video is for you i just felt the need to you know shed more light on the research based program if you're interested in it you can take that option if you're not keep watching now as at the time of shooting this video this is august 2023 so if you're coming in for september batch this does not affect you but if you plan on coming you know january 2024 you've secured an admission just know that they've stopped it they've scrapped it so that obviously is because they're trying to reduce, you know, the number of migrants that are coming into the UK. They are heavily trying to reduce it right now. Although in as much as they've been doing that, they've also been even adding, you know, new pathways on how to come into the UK as well. But for the sake of this video, we're going to, you know, focus on dependents and their students. So now that they've scrapped that away, what are the other options for you as a student? So first of all, now, for those who have not even come into the country, I would personally suggest that if you really want to move with your dependents, you should try some other place other than the UK. Other countries that will let you go with your dependents, okay? I think a lot of people are always very much focused on coming over to the UK to study. And they just, they, I don't know if you guys think there are no other, there are no other countries that would, you know, admit you and all of that good stuff. But I think it has to do with because of the fact that UK visas, they take a shorter time. In fact, for me, it's even more expensive coming over to the uk to study compared to a lot more other countries okay so if you you know if you've been planning on coming to the uk from january next year look for other options okay now that's by the way now if you are already in the uk as a dependent first of all they've said that students from this august right now they are not going to be able to you know switch their visas now a lot of students while they are still on their student visa before they go ahead to get cos which is your certificate of sponsorship from other companies and they swap their visas now they've said that the day your the dates that your cast was issued the dates that it was stated you'll be finishing your program no company should give you cos or rather they, you cannot even switch the visa even if you get the cos prior to that date so if you came in with a dependent, this is where your dependent should come in because this doesn't affect your dependent. So as a dependent, I would advise that you go ahead, look for, you know, a job that will sponsor you, that will give you COS so that as soon as your spouse, which is a student, is done, they will now, you know, switch and become your own dependent on that your sponsorship visa. That is what I would advise, okay? Don't just stay and wait to do, you know, post-study visa, of which they're talking about scrapping that as well. So 
my you know my the best advice i can give you my best advice right now for you if you're independent which i think is still good news because a lot of people have been confused you know if they stop dependence from coming in in january 2024 will it affect the dependents that are already in the country so yes that's bad news for those who have been planning to come into the uk but the good news is that you as a dependent who is already in the country it doesn't affect you you can still work full time you can go ahead get your cos even if they've said students cannot switch their visas you can still switch your own visa and you know bring your spouse as your dependent on your visa okay so if that is what both of you want to do now you guys another option for those who are looking to come into the uk with their dependent still and you know maybe you've gotten your january admission maybe you've even paid deposit or something because this is august already and now they're saying you cannot bring in your dependents there's another option for you and which is the fact that you guys might have to wait for you to come in first as the student finish your studies because you see the, the reason why they, they know what they did when they said students cannot switch visas because if you say you don't bring in your dependents anyways let me just continue what i'm saying first of all I'll come back to that you can come in as a student finish your studies which would be roughly one year and then if you get a job sponsorship if you get a cos for a job then you can bring in your dependents because they've not said that oh if you have a job you cannot bring in your dependents this is strictly for students okay so now i think the reason why they will do that is because prior to you know bringing out all of these rules since students can switch oh you can say they should not bring in their dependents they'll come into the country they'll get a job within a short period of time and still bring in their dependents because they've switched their visas over to the student visa but right now that dependent would have to wait so it's a thing of communication it's a thing of what are your options what do you want to do what do you plan on doing from the onset is it that uk would favor you more is it that you know because because some other countries their master's program would be like this is strictly for masters for instance or even phd too yeah maybe the phd program is longer the master's program will be like two years three years and you feel you know you want to do it under one year which is reasonable okay so you can still go ahead and do it let your dependent know that okay this is what we're going to do i would have to go first some people would not want to leave their dependents behind some people would, you know they would say oh it would be difficult for the person to stay back i mean it's an emotional journey but at the same time if you feel like this is what you really want to do i think you should do it and sometimes it's easier for some persons to migrate together for some people now if you have kids personally i would not even advise i've seen a lot of people coming as students and their dependents will come in like six months later seven months later even four months later personally i would not even advise like you know for you to just come in and come with kids at the same time it would even be better if you come in you know your way around you settle in the country and then you bring them it's just that this time around it will take longer it will take let's say after one year of course like when you're done with your studies and you've you know succeeded in getting a job and switching your visas then you can bring your dependents over okay so there's that part now if you've you know thought about it and it's not something that can work for you you know leaving your dependents behind then i think you just you should just forget about the uk altogether now if you if you're single this does not affect you obviously the, and even if you have plans of you know getting married while you're studying and all of that good stuff i mean you need to know that okay you cannot bring in the person immediately there's that part and i think even if you like if you've come in on a student visa and you want to switch to a post-study visa and let's say you got married while you were studying because you didn't put that person's name like at the very beginning your 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 what's it called your status when you you know looked for admission when you did your cast and all of that good stuff was that you were single you cannot bring that person on your post-study visa so at the, at the end of the day you still have to you know get a job get cos and then bring the spouse all together so if you're single at the moment this does not affect you okay so my candid advice would be that look for other places you have countries like canada you have australia in fact for me even studying in canada would pay you more because they have a better what's it called settlement pathway okay compared to the uk where you have to stay for long before you even get your ilr and all of that your indefinite leave to remain in canada it's easier for you to settle okay you have a student to pr pathway maybe some other time i'll talk about you know that but there, there is a student to pr pathway so if you go with your dependents like you know although it's not advisable to go almost immediately but if you go to canada to study you can still bring your dependent over there 
okay and it will be easier for you guys to get to permanent residency but here in the uk is longer okay like i said some people would consider or oh, the fact that schools here will take smaller what's it called deposits you know it would sound a little bit easier you know financially to migrate down here the visa is faster but if you've been thinking of you know bringing your dependents and this they suddenly release this bad news this bombshell please look for other options uk is not the only country that you can migrate to but if you still want to come to the uk you have to do you know what i just mentioned you have to come over and let them wait and then later on you guys would proceed with the whole process as for dependents who are in the country don't be scared this on, this does not affect you in any way or in any manner you just have to go ahead and start searching for jobs search for jobs that will give you COS so that when your spouse is done because they know what they did when they said students cannot switch okay so if your spouse is still studying still on student visa i would advise you guys to try and do that and get the person out of that hole you know if i get in the whole post study you still have to pay money and all of that so i would personally not even sit back and wait and advise anybody to wait till your spouse is done for you guys to continue on the whole post study journey i think you, you as a dependent since you're you're eligible to work full time at the moment none of these rules is affecting you just go ahead get a job and help your spouse to switch okay so this is where i'm going to be ending the video you guys if you have any more questions feel free to ask me if i can answer i would answer i'm going to put my email right here on the screen feel free to send me an email feel free to drop it in the comment section and i'll see you guys some other time please don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe ciao